A stunning, stunning verdict today in a lawsuit against the state school finance system. About an hour ago, the judge ruled in favor of the schools that sued the state, saying the way Texas pays for schools is unconstitutional. And that decision could have a wide-ranging impact. KXAN's education reporter Erin Cargyle has been in the Austin courtroom all day long, and she has reaction from both sides. Erin? Good evening, guys. Obviously, school districts are extremely happy. They have won this fight after a lengthy trial, 44 days to be exact. Now, the Pflugerville superintendent has been extremely outspoken about how unequal the system is. Here's what he had to say moments after the ruling was read. I feel positive. Of course, we've crossed one major hurdle. We know there's another big hurdle to come when the state appeals to the state Supreme Court. So we, we feel good about winning the battle today, but we know the war is not over yet. Now, the courtroom was packed for the verdict this afternoon. People were lined up against the wall. The state spent two hours giving their closing arguments, telling the judge the budget cuts did not cause the school system to collapse, but rather become more efficient. They pointed out schools continued to progress and student test scores improved, but it was not enough to convince District Judge John Dietz, who said the student population is growing, and if the state wants increased standards, they must be willing Willing to pay the price. Now, not all of the groups suing the state came out on top today. It was not a victory for charter schools. They wanted more money to spend on facilities, but the judge did not rule in their favor. Obviously, we're disappointed that he didn't extend that uh, finding to charter school facilities. We strongly believe in our case. We believe our students and parents have the same right to constitutional right to funding for facilities that uh, traditional school districts have. Now, attorneys for the state cleared the courtroom quickly today after the judge's decision, but we do know that they plan on appealing, and that will land this case in the hands of the Texas Supreme Court. And we've heard that it could be at least a year before the court rules on this case, or actually, here's the case. Now, I've got the judge's ruling right here in my hand. It is five pages, and we've got the entire thing on our website right now at KXAN.com if you'd like to take a look at it for yourself. Now, Tonight at 6, our political reporter Josh Hinkle will have reaction from lawmakers and we'll talk to them about how they're responding to today's decision. For now, we're live in downtown Austin, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. Taking a deeper look now at the history of school finance lawsuits here in Texas, school districts have sued the state six times since 1984. The last trial was in Travis County in 2004. The case was heard by that same district judge. He decided schools were not getting enough money, but the Texas Supreme Court ruled the system was adequate. The future of this case could actually hold up lawmakers from making some major education decisions for months. There could potentially, if the courts rule in 2014, the, the governor could call a special session, but it's up to him. As budget writers begin work this session, they might have to tiptoe around this topic and come back to education down the road. Tonight at 6, we'll tell you about the possibility of a special session for school finance, maybe even pushing it off until 2015. Plus, the crucial post Central Texas lawmakers now hold that could be key in your child's favor when it comes to money. But you can find in depth information information about this decision online right now. We have more details about the history of this case and what the ruling could mean for Texas schools and children. You can check out the story on the front page of KXAN.com.